Hi there, Mrs. McMurphy. How are you today? Oh, I'm just fine, Doctor. And what seems to be the reason for your visit today, Mrs. McMurphy? Well, it's Rascal here. He's been giving me quite the problems. He's, he was a good dog. He was such a good dog. Is he ill, you say, or? No, he's just, his behavior's changed something terrible. Well, what's he doing? Um, last week, he jumped clean through the screen door. I think it's ever since the smuckers down the road, they got that new French poodle. He wants to go see her. Oh, oh, oh. he's chasing the little French tail, he is. No, I <laughs> and, and then today he comes out of the pantry with a beer in his mouth. He <coughs> squeezes it right into his dog dish and laps it up. I, I blame my husband for that. He taught him that one. He's into the brew as well? Yeah, I do. And then the worst thing, so embarrassing, He'll lick himself and then look at me like a real satisfied look on his face. <laughs> Little boys figured out how to base the ham, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> well, I don't know what to do with these Stay at home and just, it takes up all my time just trying to keep him out of trouble. How old do you say the rascal is? Right, he's a little over here. Yeah, that kind of adds up, you see. What do you mean? Well, if you see, Rascal here is, is about a 15-year-old teenager. Oh. So he's acting very normal for a teenager. <laughs> Chasing the girls, sneaking a beer when he can, and oh yes, playing with himself, just like those teenage lads will do. <laughs> but there's a few things you can do. I'm, tell me, I'm ready. I hear that Randy Holes has started a new obedience class next week. Take the rascal out there, four or five weeks of that course, he'll be ship shape, obedient, and a good dog once again. That'll do it. Ah, uh, we went there last summer, and all he did was chase all the wild turkeys and not pay any attention to me or Randy, and then he got all the other dogs chasing the turkeys, and it was, well, we're not welcome out there anymore. Your band? <laughs> the band. Oh, dear. Well, I got these new collars. They're a super improved version of your regular shock collar. <laughs> what you do, pop this on, Rascal. I'll give you the little handheld control. The minute he starts any of these behaviors, you'll zap him a few times. Believe me, in three or four weeks, you'll have a new dog once again. We tried this, too. You did? All he does is he takes his hind legs and just flips it right off. <coughs> Big God smart. He's a little smart little doggy, isn't he? <laughs> There's one last thing you can absolutely do that works all the time. What's that? Ground him, like you would any teenager there. <laughs> absolutely ground him. You ground him. You make him watch repeat episodes of Rin Tin Tin, Lassie, and Homeward Bound in that order, and you'll have a new dog in a week or two, absolutely. Guaranteed. Guaranteed. So you'll be on your way, then. Yes, it's Mrs. McMurphy, I, I'm trying to help you. What's the problem now? Oh, you're, you're so helpful, but it's just first, first rascal, and now my husband, he's acting up also. I don't know how you're going to help me with him. What's the old codger up to now? Well, he came home from work. <laughs> And he had two black eyes. He was fighting over who had the best lunch, mind you. It's crazy. And then his supervisor calls, asking me for advice, because he's not getting his work done. He's getting the mess. <coughs> he's going to be sacked. I just don't. Right before Christmas, you say? It's <laughs> <laughs> horrible. That's sorry. And then I'm, and the weekends I'm cleaning, and he's laying on the couch watching the telly, watching the rugby. Burping and farting and <laughs> doesn't help a bit. I like watching the rugby myself. But <laughs> uh, and the, the worst is Go in on. the loo. He doesn't even try to hit the loo. Oh. He just uh, all over and the smell. Oh, it's bloody awful. Oh, that carpet in there. And, oh, that's horrible. It's just horrible. And we go out in public, and he's just watching the. the the young chicks, he doesn't pay any attention to me. Making all these wolf calls, he's a real dog. <laughs> How old is the old man? He's 48. <laughs> I don't know what to do. Well, as you can see, <laughs> what he's turned into 
is a grumpy, <coughs> dirty, horny, ornery, eight-year-old clown. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you, the collars will work on him. I got some strong ones. <laughs> The minute he lays on that couch and burps and farts, you knock him on his ass, roll him right on the ground. <laughs> Believe me, he'll straighten up absolutely. I tried this. <laughs> <laughs> it says, bring it home, baby. <laughs> I, said, I don't want to tell you what he's into. <laughs> well, there's only one thing that can be done with these old, grumpy old hounds when they get that way beyond the point of return. I'm ready for anything. It'll cause a few changes in your life. I'm ready. What we got to do, it's time to get him neutered. <laughs> neutered, castrated, cut. Yes, absolutely. Works every time. What, what, how will it change him? Well, I know oh. it will change him, but... Oh. Health benefits as well. He won't be getting the prostate cancer. Well, He'll straighten that right up. He won't be confrontational at work, and he won't be into those rough and tumble sports either. And if he does miss around the loop, it won't stink near as much, believe me. <laughs> well, what about his, uh, you know, his interest in me? All those horny old dogs, anyway, even if they don't have a punch. They still think they got it. He'll be humping around and doing whatever he can, even though he can't really do anything. So you'll be okay. But I do own the hardware store down the street. In case, just so you're going through so much, I'll throw you in a free case of batteries in case you need a little charge yourself, you know. <laughs> so you'll be. Well, I'm glad, so it's time for you to leave, Mrs. McMurphy. But I have so many more questions for what, you. What, what questions do you have? So, so knowledgeable and... Yes, but keep your clothes on, Mrs. McMurphy. <laughs> so, You're turning so, into a tiger. That's so bad. The real uh, mention of your sexuality is wound you right up. I has. I don't want to ask this woman, Mrs. McMurphy, how old are you? Well, I'm only a mere, uh... 48. 44. Oh, 44. dear God, that's what I was afraid of. As you, as you can see, that's, that's the prime peak of feline sexuality. Yes. You, you're turning into a real cougar, as they say. Oh. <laughs> there's, there's really, there's really, you know, you're taking care of the dog and the old man. There's only, there's only one thing we can do with you. Do it, doctor. <laughs> Murphy is, is have you 